so I have been working on this weaving project for a while and by working on it I mean neglecting it and um, finally coming back to it probably like six or seven months later but I built this frame out of scrap 2x4 and a picture hanging nails because they were super tiny that's what I had on hand for my IKEA kit um, this is my first textile weaving um, project and by that I mean I'm going to convert this into a throw pillow when it's done um, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more um, I don't know the right word creative or less structure like I got really stuck in gym like G geometric shapes this time um, and I think next time I'll try to be a little bit more freeform because I really love those hangings that look like clouds and just like people were literally making it up as they went um, but I just wanted to give you a quick uh, look at what indoor project I'm working on right some now. tools that I've used. Um, I found these wooden needles on Amazon. Um, so I've used these for kind of like the smaller areas as I'm getting closer to the top. It's not as easy to kind of lift the weft. So um, these have been helpful to kind of both lift and um, weave through those tighter areas. This is a shorter shuttle that I use for kind of some of the smaller, or I wouldn't even say this is smaller, but um, the smaller areas where um, I needed a little bit of a color um, and just like a sh small space that didn't go from side to the other side. So this helped to kind of like um, fill these areas out, this along with just like a regular yarn needle. This bohemoth is what I used initially to help lift and raise the weft as I was weaving on Amazon, um, but I abandoned it later on because I didn't really need something this um, big. I think it was just making it more difficult. Plus, I think I should have treated the wood before it started to like you can see over there a piece broke off and right here it's starting to bind um, which I think is because it's so dry um, so yeah it should have probably been oiled or something but yeah I did start out using this and I mean if you don't want to use just a regular shuttle stick to lift um, and lower your wefts then that's an option. Um, for the yarns, I use just a regular worsted weight for the weft and for the white that you see, um, at least something along, along this weight. And I use a chunky lion brain, I'm pretty sure, um, yarn for the blue kind of braided texture you see here. Um, this is a green roving that I got from, oh, from a yarn company whose name I can't remember, but I will add later. Um, some more worsted weight, gray. These are all, like, leftovers. See, this is my wall of yarn here. Um, and I was trying to figure out ways to use up some of these unfinished, um, balls, and so... The colors that went best together turned into this. So, um, some more chunky um, Lion Brand green mixed with the green roving. I did two layers of um, knots here, so you can kind of see here under, and then underneath I have a white um, stretch just to give these knots something good, easy or less, I guess, um, movable to rest on. You can kind of see it created a bit of a triangle pattern underneath. Um, and it's mostly hidden, but it gave them some structure to follow because I wanted them to go underneath this um, blue inverted triangle kind of thing. Um, then I have regular all cotton 
Um, I think this might have been the ice cream brand they sell at Walmart, gray, um, back up to a bursted weight white. Um, and this is the green that I'm using right now that um, will finish up to line these all up. And then I'm gonna bring some more texture up here to finish it off to kind of balance it since I have texture down here and in the middle, I cannot get over the asymmetry, which is gonna be really hard if I wanna make a, diff a more freeform pattern next time. But um, I will take the... Um, I will be adding a layer of uh, probably, I can't remember the name of the stitch, but this one right here, up here to help balance it out for me. So that's the plan with this. And I don't know if I'll use this frame again. I was gifted a ton of actual frame, um, what do they call them, weaving looms over here. Um, and I'd like to try out want some of those and um hopefully with the um new looms assembled i will be more motivated to finish these projects a little quicker uh yeah if you are working on some weaving projects or are interested in starting them tell me about what you're thinking tell me about your inspirations and i will i just i'd love to hear what you guys have in mind or this is a project that you'd be interested in and in trying so yeah don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram for all of my random home projects and ancient skills apparently that i pick up along the way